Southwest, welcome back to Wolf Fight. I'm Maddie Kelly. And I'm Riley Underwood, and we have a fantastic March show for you. Coming up, we witness the importance of awareness. <laughs> test teachers and students' knowledge. And learn how students can make a ripple in the community. All that and more only on this March edition of Wolf by TV. amazing third quarter and are ready for spring break. I know I'm excited for all the new free time I'm going to be having now. Well, Riley, you can try something new. Let's take a look at how some of our students have become more aware of their surroundings. I guess I'm lucky in a sense that like he, w he wasn't going to do anything about it. He was just there to take pictures. When was the last time you were out alone? Did you feel safe? Chances are that your response might match up to our data. We polled our Instagram followers, and over 92% of our female audience said they did not feel safe. However, there was a vastly different number in the males. Only 22% say they did not feel safe. This disparity is due to a sense of fear developed between the two genders. Is he going to do anything? You know? Meet Ashley Merkel. She herself has had numerous encounters with strangers and is part of that 92% we mentioned earlier. With guys, it's not as, it's not talked about as much, but I also, I don't think it happens as much to them. Like, I think what constitutes as uncomfortable for them is different from what constitutes as uncomfortable for girls. Uh, it, it's scary to be a girl in this world today because the things that are going on, I, it's just terrible that that's seen as normal and that um, it goes on all the time. This issue has even spread to social media, causing a storm of videos to appear regarding their situations. This has caused some males to think about their actions. We don't experience those same things, and we don't know what it's like, so we kind of just have to put ourselves in their shoes to better understand what they're going through. Spencer is among those men who are trying to make others feel safe, especially because he has a special connection. Well, my sister always taught my brother and I to be really cautious in those situations and to make women feel as comfortable as possible. And, you know, when I'm in a parking lot or something like that, I'll always try to make women feel as comfortable as possible. If it had been a kind of person that was looking for someone to take, then I guess I would be one of the lucky ones. Unfortunately, not everyone's situation plays out to a safe ending. It is important to understand that this can happen to anyone and to stay safe. Reporting for Wolf Bite TV, this has been Nityanta Surapali and Grace Roberts. It's important to be aware of what's going on in the community around us. Now let's take a look within our own community here at Southwest. What's up Southwest, I'm Spencer Tomasco. Recently, our BVSW Glitter Girls dance team received a Division I ranking for both their palm and game day routines. Great job, dancers. The debate team also won a four speaker 5A state championship. That is crazy, T-Wolves. And the Blue Valley Southwest Wind Ensemble was the only high school band to perform in the KMEA state convention. Great job, we're all so proud of all of your hard work. And finally, your very own Wolf Bite TV was named among the best broadcast programs in the nation. We won the Broadcast Excellence Award, which is the highest student broadcast program award that you can even receive. Additionally, our sports live stream also won first place with a perfect ranking. And if you want to check out more of our sports live streams this spring, go to BVSW Broadcast on YouTube to check it out. Back to you, Maddie and Riley. 
Thanks for the update, Spencer. We sure do have a lot of talent at our school. We're so proud of your accomplishments, t -Wolves. Now let's look at the knowledge of our students and teachers here at Southwest. What's up, Southwest? Today we went around school asking some students about a few news headlines. But little did they know, none of these headlines were real. Okay, so this year we said goodbye at the ripe old age of 103 to Ludwig van Beethoven. Are you sad that this influential composer has passed and is no longer with us? Yeah. Isn't Beethoven like really old? Like not, like a long time ago he would have died? I, if anyone was his family, I would feel really bad. All right, this year was a big year for NASA and a lot of things regarding space travel. How does it feel to know that Pluto has been reinstated as a planet? That, that surprised me. I mean, they. They denounced, it a, they denounced it as a planet because it got smaller. I did my boy dirty and they finally reinstated him. Dude, I'm happy. It's um, pretty cool for Pluto. Yeah, that's pretty cool yeah, for Pluto. I was for him. This was the year that scientists discovered the 119th element on the periodic table, Barmonium. Was it cool to see new things being discovered even in this crazy time? Absolutely. We can always discover new things. Uh, yes, I just came from science class where we're working at the periodic table and she is very, she's very excited about the periodic table like i guess you could see like america's kind of shut down like a lot of things are shut down but the things are still moving that's good well that's it from us southwest would you have known that these headlines were fake that was so entertaining to see the answers that our students and teachers came up with now let's see how you fare in this edition of 10 second trivia hey southwest i'm katie charest and welcome to 10 second trivia here, we give you three questions and you have 10 seconds to answer each. Let's go! First up, what is the new name of the minor league team formerly known as the Kansas City T-Bones? The new name for the Kansas City T-Bones is the Kansas City Monarchs. Next up, what is the technical name for the hashtag symbol? Although it is referred to as the hashtag by many influencers, its actual name for this symbol is the Octothorpe. Finally, in the Marvel movies, who is the character Tony Stark, also known as Iron Man, based off of? Tony Stark's character was based off the millionaire industrialist Howard Hughes. For this question, let's see how you compare to our Instagram followers. We asked them the same question and over 36% of them answered correctly. And a special shout out to Cortez Dyson for being the first one to answer correctly on our polls. For more activities like this, make sure to follow all our social medias at BBSW Wolfbite. Now back to you, Riley and Maddie. I had no idea that Iron Man was inspired by Howard Hughes. Did you know that one of our own Southwest students made his own Iron Man suit? Let's check him out. Students of Blue Valley Southwest have talents, but one is more unique than the others. The gateway drug for all this stuff was um, when I started using like mini butane uh, canisters, like little lighters, and you know, I'd watch those top five like hobby channels and learning how to like shoot little tiny flames, and it just kept growing and growing, and I, and I fell in love with it. He has been a creative kid since he was little. To be honest with you, he was the kid that. You know, you'd buy him a Lego set, and he'd put it together one time, and then he'd wait for you to leave, and then he'd tear it all apart and build something new and different and fun. And Matthew Clark is an engineer, and he makes things you've never seen before. You know, I love seeing the look on people's faces when I walk out in an, in an Iron Man suit that people thought would just be fictional. Um, and obviously wearing the thing is just driving a Lamborghini. It's just something you never thought you'd ever do. And... But I just, I love learning new skills. I love learning things that not every other person knows how to do. Some of it's fun, you know, like his fire suit's really fun, but then a lot of times he'll invent things that serve a purpose. You know, if you have a new car you want to go after, do, do your research. If you want to learn a new idea for a hobby, for work, for school, do the research. People correlate to you know nerds and, and, and reclusive people. Don't don't care about any of that. I've had the most fun in my entire life not caring and just doing what I wanted to do. And it, it's I will never forget these moments learning about these. And I just I don't care what other people think. And it's paid off. If you can dream it, he can build it. Reporting for Wolf by TV, this has been Riley Underwood and Jake Vaccaro. 
It is so inspiring to see how much Matt has accomplished throughout his passion. Now let's pass it on to Katie to hear about some other accomplishments made by Southwest students through our sports. Hey Southwest, I'm Katie Pittman and we're going to be talking about sports. First up, we have the girls bowling team. They went out and performed at the recent EKL tournament, ending with a very solid fourth place finish. They then followed this up with a second place finish at Battle of the BVs Senior Night. Amazing job, girls. Next up is boys JV basketball. They had a very solid season, ending it with a 13-3 record. In one of their recent games, late in the season, they beat Blue Valley in overtime with a three-point buzzer beater from Jackson Bell. Crazy game. We also have the boys swim team who recently beat the 400 meter relay record at the EKL swim meet. Girls basketball and boys varsity basketball who just closed out their seasons and boys wrestling who finished their season with Hayden Mills winning regional champion. Amazing job all around. With the spring season now starting up, we should have some very exciting matchups for our spring sports teams. So don't forget to tune into our live streams on our YouTube channel at BVSW Broadcast. Back to you Riley and Maddie. Thanks for the update, Katie. Now that we're all caught up with athletics, let's take a look at how some of our academic classes reacted to a surprise from a fellow Timberwolf. Hey Southwest, today we're going to secretly look into some classrooms and have them do some interesting tasks. But, they will not know where we're coming from. Let's go! Hey, Trey, Trey, is someone on that class list by home? See? Now, little do you know, there are some Russian things that we may use in our everyday life. Good morning, Hawks Fifth Hour. How has your day been? <laughs> Hola a todos mis niños españoles favoritos. ¿Cómo están? On a scale of 1 to 10, how high is your class? The class or the teacher? Oh, yeah. oh it's the one to outside. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey Cody, sit back down right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's the energy of this class? Like, are they like better than M or Z, or like, you know, uh, or worse? Uh, better with energy? Probably better with energy, yes. I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> better at Spanish? <laughs> no. <laughs> Simon says, say bye bye wolf fight. Uh, bye bye wolf bye. fight. I think we definitely surprised our wolf pack with that one. Now, let's go to Kelly with our latest trends. Thanks, Maddie and Riley. Welcome to Trending with the Timberwolves, where we talk about all the latest trends in today's world. I'm your host, Kelly Marshall. First, let's talk about the new drink that is all the rave. Celsius drinks are a healthy way to boost your metabolism and to keep you energized throughout the day. Taylor Swift re-recorded her song Love Story and has announced that she's releasing her re-recorded version of Fearless. Lastly, Texas was hit with weather that shocked the entire nation. With some parts getting nine inches of snow, damages were caused throughout buildings and facilities. Make sure to stay tuned for more trends on our next show. Now back to Maddie and Riley, more about our Southwest community. Thanks for catching us up on the trends, Kelly. One trend that will never fade is kindness. Let's see how you can make a ripple in our community. Healing after a tragic event looks different for everyone. For Minnie Corcoran, the healing process has made a big impact. Building Faith Always Wins and Building Seven Days has been part of my personal healing journey, and it was something that I needed to do after I lost my dad and son. On April 13th of 2014, her dad and son were two out of three victims of a hate crime at the village Shalom. The loss of my dad and son was an enormity, and our lives have been completely uprooted and changed. After a life-changing event and founding Seven Days Make a Ripple Change the World, Mindy has learned the importance of educating the next generation. It's the younger people who can make a difference if they choose to. And that is the why, is we're giving youth right now the opportunity to show their voice and to speak up. Seven Days Make a Ripple Change the World has been putting on events since 2015. This year, they encourage students to participate virtually. We feel like everyone has an opportunity to make a ripple and be the change, and that's what we're asking people to do, is make a ripple and change the world one person at a time. Reporting for Wolf Bite TV, this has been Maddie Kelly, Katie Charest, and Jessica Bell. It's heartwarming to see how much our students can make a difference. We've loved creating stories for you, and we look forward to continuing it after the break. Thank you so much for watching our March show. 
Make sure to follow us on all our social media at BVSW Wolf Bite and tune into our sports live streams on our YouTube channel, BVSW Broadcast. See you later, Timberwolves. Bye.